spite of my own, I love this. So this may shock you. We covered the same sort of discussion. We never got past the first question. But uh, I, I have never experienced racism. Uh, people are always nice to me. They uh, let me in the front of the line all the time. They, I can get a job whenever I need to. I, uh, nobody discriminates against me at all. Oh, you're talking about the other kind of people. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't get very much discriminated against at all. <clears throat> and that's what bothers me because other people do. Uh, what we talked about was, that was just a joke, folks. I'm white and I don't get Yeah, it was messed up, Bill. It was messed up, man. Uh, oh, racism in Detroit? Well, what we started off by saying was uh, racism is everywhere in Detroit. I want to talk about it that way, but it's not always overt. And through the gentrification process, which we just spoke about, and we never got past the first question, we pretty much talked about the same issue. I work at Bird's Marketplace in Eastern Market, and I've been there for 15, 16 years now. I've watched the whole area get totally gentrified. Uh, I know. Many of you, that's why you're here. This is one of my favorite groups because it's one of the few groups that talks about racism and uh, tries to address the issue. Uh, so I appreciate the fact that we can talk about this openly. Most people can't do that. And uh, I hope we'll continue on with this kind of discussion. But gentrification is definitely uh, uh, the process of uh, uh, elevating the value of a community, land, elevating it so that certain people can't afford it anymore and they get wiped out. In Detroit, we're replacing people by not keeping uh, uh, the housing, not, not finding a way to keep people there. Uh, it's all money, it's all profit, that's the bottom line, because people are making money by building new structures that have to continually feed the profit uh, monster. And so because they're doing that, uh, people buy land, people buy buildings, and then we uh, can't afford them anymore. And so people who don't have money or, or uh, middle, middle income have to move out, can't afford it. And a lot of times it's based on race. Uh, and uh, when you see a specific type, type of people, I live in Hamtramck where there's discrimination against Muslims. So I mean, I see it not only against African Americans, but wherever you can discriminate against people, uh, we do it in America because it's dog eat dog, and this is capitalism, and we're going to find a way to uh, make money. That's the bottom line. Yeah. Thank you.